Hey, Janae, obviously we're probably not happy with a 23 point loss. Um, do, you, do you at least take a little bit of solace in being able to do some new things out on the court today, two for three from three? I guess so. I guess that's the only thing I can take solace in. Um, I think today what you saw was a team, a very, very new team playing for the first time. And, you know, it was not ideal, the outcome, but I am glad that I was able to trust in myself a little bit more to play a little bit of what I've worked towards. So yeah, that was new territory for me, but hopefully not new anymore. Um, yeah. David Yapkowitz with the next. Hey, Shanae. Um, you know, coach was mentioning earlier that um, rebounding especially uh, is going to be more of like a by committee, you know, and not just you and NECA. I know you guys got out rebounded. It was 45 to 25. Um, you know, obviously Amanda's going to help a little bit with that, with her size, you know, once she gets back. Um, but, you know, just what, what kind of, what did you see out there on that end in terms of, you know, your guys' effort on the glass? Yeah, I think um, it just comes down to our shot selection and, um, you know, we just, I think we sort of were missing our flow when it comes to offense. And so that means some shots we're not necessarily ready, we're ready for, but the defense takes that to an advantage, getting a shorter court. Like if we take a long one, it's going to be a long bounce. And so, you know, they were comfortable in their offense, especially in the second quarter and on, and we were trying to still feel each other out. And I think that that was uh, that amounted in like some shots that maybe just didn't fall or shots that we are still trying to understand when people are going to shoot and attack. And then that's, they just were off and running from there, but that should never happen. Like that rebounding stat, that should never happen. Ready to clap for SB Nation. Shanae, it's kind of a weird uh, start to the season schedule wise with a week off and then another week off. Uh, after a loss like this is, is that a good thing or a bad thing for you to, on the one hand, you have a lot of time to work on stuff. On the other hand, you don't get to jump back in and, and kind of ride the ship. I think it's good for us, you know, for us to get in the gym and just work and put our head down and work. And I think as an athlete, you would love another game so that you can erase this memory. But I don't think that that needs to happen for us. I think we need to know exactly what this feels like so that we work so that we never feel this way again, especially at home. Um, so yeah, I think this is a good opportunity for us to just keep pushing forward. And now we know exactly what we have to do defensively. We have to be way better offensively. We have to find our flow. And so having this time in between will help us with that. Last two for tonight, we'll go to Pavi with h &B Media. Uh, hey, Sinead, um, you know, obviously I know the outcome wasn't uh, what, you wanted, what you wanted it to be, but with so many um, new parts, do you think that you guys at least had kind of a solid grasp of what you were trying to do? trying to do out there both on offense and um, defense? Well, I think the one thing we can take away from today is, yeah, it totally felt like a new team out there, new pieces trying to figure out each, figure each other out. Uh, what we can take away is that we've gone out there and done it once, meaning we played a game, we played a game together, and now we just have to start building on, all right, like the nerves are out, people playing for the first time in this city, you know? And so now I think we just focus on getting better and getting to know one another. Um, yeah. Last question, Miriam Swanson, LA Daily News. Hey, Shanae. Um, I, I wanted to ask you uh, about the reaction to 144, just sort of the outpouring of appreciation from around the league. How, how'd that feel and, and what was your take on all that last night? Oh my gosh. Uh, it has been so overwhelming and it's amazing um, that so many people not only followed the documentary, you know, 144, but more importantly, they realized that this was a documentary that humanized people that deserve the spotlight, you know, for the story to not just be about hoops, but also something bigger than basketball and people understanding that these women are strong, but also vulnerable. The human aspect that people are talking about, like that makes my heart sing. and. Um, been a, it's been a long stretch to get it to air and and it's been amazing to see so many different players um just revel in being seen on that stage uh so it it truly was a special day yesterday um and in my head I was like all right get through Thursday make it to Friday and now we're on you know and now it's like okay 
the, the world has seen the doc and now we played one game and now let's get back to work on the court. So things, life has become a little bit easier for me moving forward, but it was just beautiful to see so many people uh, enjoy, enjoy 144.